Hello, and congratulations to all the students in all the high schools in the graduating class of 2020 here in New Hampshire. My name is Dean Kamen. I don't know most of you, and I'm sure most of you don't know me, but I was asked to try to come up with a message at a time that seemed maybe a little uh, seriously down, uh, which would help make uh, this particular graduation season a little bit better. Here I am uh, in my own shop in my house, like all of you, having to keep my social distance. I'm not complaining, it's a beautiful shop. And I chose to do this video standing next to one of the clocks I make that if you're involved in first in any way, you've seen these. Each year I make one to be the prize for the winning first team. They all have the same gearing, but this clock's a little different. I started making a clock that actually, that second hand, the minute hand, the whole clock is running three times faster than any clock you'd use. But the reason it keeps perfect time is it spends 40 seconds, two thirds of its time going forward, two minutes and 40 seconds, but it goes back one step in 20 seconds every minute. Why, you might ask, did I do that, and why is it relevant to this time? I spent my whole life with people telling me, I'm trying to do too many things, I'm trying to work on too many things, and for every two steps forward, I'll take one step backward. I'm sure you've all heard that phrase, and it's true. I make a lot more mistakes than most of the people I know because I am trying to do a lot of things, and I have a sense of urgency about doing them all fast. But I finally decided to take that old statement, for every two steps forward, you take one step back, and turn that lemon into lemonade, and it's the advice I'd like to give all of you today. Mathematically, plus two, minus one, and minus one, plus two, are the same. So I'd like to tell all of you, for every step that we all take backward, and this coronavirus is a big step backward, if we take two steps forward, We'll stay synchronized with the world. We'll get three times as much experience. We'll learn from mistakes and we'll move on. As long as we stay positive, as long as we're optimistic, as long as we continue to communicate and cooperate. I know it may seem very hard right now and disappointing that you don't get to do the official graduation. But I think when you look back at this graduation versus most people that get to look back at theirs, yours will be very memorable. I'd also like to point out, maybe on the lighter side, that realistically, you students shouldn't feel that you've lost a lot. You got the important part, the education. You're graduating, you're moving on in life, whether it's to a career or the college. The graduation, let's be clear, was really mostly about your parents and your grandparents. Think about it. From the time you were a little kid, they liked to dress you up in silly outfits and put silly birthday hats on you. That's what parents do. And the ultimate version of that as you grow up and you're about to become the next generation of leaders, they like to dress you up in a silly cap and a silly gown and be very proud of you. They're going to miss the opportunity to have that great event. Take care of them. But remember, the important part of this education you've got, that didn't go away. And maybe more importantly, remember that this should be a very potent learning experience by which we all maybe redouble our efforts to stay focused on solving important problems and working with each other, particularly the next generation of leaders is going to have to be more capable of moving more quickly to deal with ever more complex issues. And this is a time to really think about that. So whatever you're planning on doing, I wish you a lot of success. I hope you will somehow stay involved with FIRST and maybe come work with me on some of our important projects. But 
to each and every one of you. I, I sincerely congratulate you and uh, I am confident uh, that you will look back at, at this period and it will be one small step backward, but you will take all of you collectively two steps forward. Congratulations again and have a good life.